Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a kawaii frog and witch's cauldron using polymer clay just in time for Halloween. So let's get started. To begin I'm taking this pearly black clay which I'm going to be using for the cauldron. Roll your polymer clay into a ball and then you can begin shaping it into a cauldron by flattening one side down just slightly on your work surface. I'm then taking my glow in the dark Sculpey polymer clay and I'm going to be using this color for the mixture inside the cauldron. I've also taken some bright pink iridescent glitter as well as some pink glow in the dark powder pigment which I'm going to be using to color the glow in the dark polymer clay. The glow in the dark effect is completely up to you and of course optional. You can really make this mixture whatever color you would like. The reason I'm using a powdered pigment to color the polymer clay is so that it doesn't become too opaque. I then flatten this clay down on my work surface, roughly the same size as the flat part on my cauldron, and then I positioned the two pieces of clay together. I then took a long snake of clay that I had already rolled and I just wrapped this around the top of the pot for the rim. You can see that I cut off the excess clay using my blade and then I'm just blending the clay back together. Next, I wanted to create some legs for the cauldron. So here I've rolled some small pieces of clay and I'm just trimming off the parts that I need. I then flipped my pot upside down and then here I'm attaching on the three legs. Now that my cauldron is done, I'm going to be moving on to the kawaii frog. So this is the green clay that I have chosen to use. I rolled the clay into a ball for the head and then here I have two smaller balls of the clay which I've flattened down on my work surface and these are going to be for the eyes. So I've trimmed off a small section of those circles just using my round cookie cutter and this is so that I can easily attach and blend these onto the head. I then used a dotting tool to create two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of black polymer clay. I positioned on a little U-shaped piece of black clay for the mouth and then I also added two pink pieces of clay for the cheeks on either side of the face. I then created a body for my frog by starting off with a cone shape and trimming off the top part. I then blended the body and the head together using my needle tool. Next up I'm creating the frog's legs. So here I have some more of the green polymer clay which I've rolled out on my work surface. I started off by pinching the very end of the clay and this is going to become the foot and then I just folded the rest of the clay on itself and this is going to become the leg which is bent at the knee. Once I had created two of these, it was then just a matter of adding one on either side of the body. It was then time to join the two parts of my figurine together, so I took the frog and I attached it to the side of the cauldron. To make the frog look like it is mixing whatever is inside the cauldron, I created a little brown stick and I placed it onto the design. I then took some more green polymer clay which I had shaped for the arms and I carefully connected these on so that it looks like the frog was actually holding the mixing stick. To finish off the pink glow in the dark mixture inside the cauldron, I added some small balls of clay and scattered them around to make it look like it was bubbling. Then as a final detail, I'm going to be adding a witch's hat onto my frog's head. I'm using this really pretty custom color which is a dark pearly purple and I've flattened down a piece on my work surface for the bottom part of the hat and then I also created a cone using another piece of that clay. I trimmed off the very bottom of the cone so that I had a flat surface to work with and then I combined the two parts of the hat together. Thank you. 
Using a light purple polymer clay, I rolled a thin coil on my work surface and I flattened it down slightly using my rolling pin and then I just wrapped this around the hat for the ribbon. Lastly, I placed the witch's hat on the top of my frog's head and then it was time to bake this figurine in my oven according to my package's instructions. After baking, I used my UV resin as a glaze to make it nice and shiny and then it's pretty much finished. So here is what my kawaii Halloween frog and witch's cauldron looks like once it's completely finished. I love the way this little figurine turned out and then here you can also see that the mixture glows in the dark which I think is a really cool effect. So if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!